全球最大的公司呢，都在花费数千亿美元搭建 AI 的基础设施啊。About s i gigs， 看起来非常疯狂，但确实正在发生，而且规模比我们平时想象的还要大。有人会问啊，这么大的 AI 投入，这个会不会形成泡沫呢？过度的建设呢？ Talk about this question of demand. So, on the one hand, there's this question about quality of revenues. On the other question is, are we overbuilding? So, let's show this chart again. This is basically the three trillion dollars of build out expected over the next five years. This is the capex chart that we've shown here before.、Yep. To, to put that in perspective, Bill, that's about sixty gigs, right? Because we we now are normalizing everything to gigawatts of data center. So that's about sixty gigs. It's not all incremental. A lot of that is, is is replacement or upgrade. Keep that in mind. The second is this chart of Nvidia revenues. This is the Nvidia sell side forecast. Okay, forecast this year is for about 200 billion in revenues, growing to about 350 billion in revenues over the next five years. So this year, that means that they're selling about four to five gigs worth of compute. And again, most of that's incremental, but it's not all incremental. And that would grow to nine gigs of compute, nine in 2029, 2030. So that's 350 or 400 billion. That's the Nvidia consensus revenue forecast, right? And I asked Jensen on the pod about this, and I said, "What is the chance that we get into a glut over the course of you know the next four or five years?" But he basically said there's zero chance over the next two to three years because all the build out will go to the biggest hyperscalers with the biggest balance sheets in the world, and they're building it to run their core businesses. We haven't even got into the full amount with respect to these new generative AI workloads.、So、what is the percentage probability that you think will have a glut, will run into a glut in the next three or four or five years, until we fully? Convert all general-purpose computing to accelerated computing and AI. Until we do that, yes,、mm -hmm. I think the chances are extremely low. Okay. So here's a question I have for you: Did you hear anything in the last couple of weeks that caused you to believe that we're on the verge of some bubble bursting, or we're greatly overbuilding? Yeah. So it's funny they had Howard Marks on CNBC this morning. He said, "Look, multiples are too low to." For this to be, on, you you can't be on bubble watch if the multiples aren't high enough. I would say, like you'd have to be a fool not to notice that these numbers you're talking about are so remarkably unprecedented from anything we've ever seen before. They are massive. You know, I've talked about you know to see the Mag Seven go from being massive cash producers to where they're. Many of them are taking the majority of their free cash flow into、yep. capex. It's totally new, and clearly, everyone believes that this wave is maybe bigger than the previous waves we've seen that have led to so much value creation. So, all that's happening. I like to believe that it's okay to recognize that the market's great and still think that these transactions shouldn't happen this way. And I'm able to keep both those things in my head、yeah. at the same time. This is Mag Five CapEx as a percentage of their operating free cash flow bill, and if you look at it in 2025, so that's this year, they'll spend about 66 percent of their、yeah. operating cash flow on CapEx, right? And if you look at the consensus forecast for their CapEx relative to their operating cash flow, this is the peak. Around 66 percent, it has it going down to about 45 or 50 percent. Now embedded in there is they're going to keep growing their operating free cash flow at 15 to 20 percent a year. So there's still room for them to grow with that coming down. But I think that is another thing to keep your eye on. How much are they spending? And by the way, just give you an order of magnitude, Bill. In 2023, their total capex was 156 billion, and this year it's 379 billion. Right, so radical step up in in your point's a good one, and just remember a couple years ago in 2022 when Meta stepped up their capex spending on Reality Labs, the stock got obliterated 
because people said, what the hell are you doing? This is all about free cash flow for share per share, including myself. And I was saying, you know, t let's get fit here. Let's drive more free cash flow out of the business. You know, so much so that the CFO sent me a hat that says free cash flow, right? So they got real about free cash flow, but there's a difference between investing that free cash flow in data centers and AI than there was in Reality Labs. As an yep. investor, let me just tell you my own perspective. The reason Meta stock's doing great is because now the investors understand it and believe in it. We're seeing the benefits, right, in the earnings of the business. They're growing the earnings of the business. They don't have to hire a lot of new employees. And so it's fundamentally different than the CapEx that was going into Reality Labs, where investors were saying, well, hold on a second, we're going to spend $100 plus billion dollars over the next five years. We don't even know what we're building, right? We don't know what it will be worth at the end of the day. So I think for now, at least, there's enough belief in the byproduct of generative AI, because people are using ChatGPT, they're seeing the utility in the enterprise that they're willing to tolerate these companies giving over half of their free cash flow into these build out. Because 他们是为了现有业务的升级基础设施 你一次只能计算做一件事情 等我们把所有这些通用的计算迁移到AI加速器之前，过剩是不可能的。把这些所有的通用计算迁移到加速器之后，我们再谈过剩的问题。每一台旧的设备啊，都必须要被替换，这是不可避免的升级。我们可以用
，不担心，因为他们看到投入和回报之间的直接联系。第三，这是一次底层架构的迁移，而不仅仅是新的应用或者功能叠加。第四，这种迁移会影响所有数据处理、推荐、优化，规模之大，效率之高，是前所未有的。第五次工业革命来了。所以呢，如果你再看到全球科技公司在 AI 上花费了数千亿美元这种标题，不要慌，这不是泡沫，这是一次从根本上重建计算架构的革命。投资人和企业都在压住未来，而这个未来正在一步步的变成现实。以上是黄仁勋的观点啊，我认为他有一定程度上是在要吹嘘自己的芯片啊，吹嘘自己的公司，但是他的这个芯片确实。他的需求就是十比一啊，有十份的需求，他只满足了一份。至于说你这个芯片卖给了哪些公司，比如说卖给了某一些初创公司，还是说所有的芯片都是卖给了这些大型的公司呢？如果是卖给了大型公司，那确实这些公司财大利粗啊，不会造成泡沫，他们可能真的是在建设自己的那个计算系统底层的系统，但是还是有非常多的初创公司啊。所以我对他的这个说法整体上认可，但是我对啊、呃、有一些初创公司的那个前景不大看好。好的，感谢你的收看，我们下期再见。在见之前一定要点赞订阅我的频道，感谢您收看，拜拜。